To create this design, you need to add a rounded cube and subdivision should be 2. Then go to the top view and scale it along the y axis. Then scale it along the z axis. Then go to the edit mode and turn on the x ray mode. Select this edge and control B, add a 2 segment bevel. Select these words and move them along the y axis. Then select everything, mesh, semit rights. Then select this edge loop and use the set flaw on it. Then select these bottom faces and delete them. Then select this edge loop and use the edge slide on it with a 0.2 factor. Then select that center edge loop and use the set flaw on it. Then you need to add a few loop cuts out there to increase the topology and to get a good form. And then you need to use the set flaw on them to maintain that good form. Then select everything and mesh symmetry. Take the symmetry along the x and y axis. After that, you will get this kind of form. Add one loop cut at here and use the set flow. Then go to the top view and use the knife tool at here and create straight cut like this. Then select this edge and control X to dissolve it. Then select this edge and use the set flow on it. Then one more time, take the symmetry. Then go to the object mode and add sub D modifier with one subdivision level. Then apply that modifier so we can get little dense mesh. Then select these edge loops and scale them along the x axis and give the value 0 to make them straight. And then use the edge slide to adjust their position little bit. So just refine the form in this way. Then you can select these edge loops with a shift select. And then control B, add a 2 segment bevel and give the proper bevel width. Then decrease the selection with the control minus key. Then move these edge loops along the z axis in this way. Then you need to select these words and merge them at last in this way. Select these words and merge them at last. Then adjust the position of the words little bit. Then add loop cuts like this. And then select this edge loop and use the set flow. Same thing, add loop cuts, then select this edge loop and use the set flow. So you can get a proper curve at there. It's very simple. Add two loop cuts from both sides, then select the center edge loop and use the set flow on it. Then hit the control tool to add the sub D modifier. Select this edge loop with the shortest path selection and use the edge slide on it with a point to factor. So you can maintain good curve at there. It's pretty simple and easy. Then select these edge loops with a shift select and use the set flow on them to maintain that good curve form. I'm going to turn on the matcap view, then go to the edit mode, then select these words and use the edge slide at there little bit. Then select everything and mesh symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the x and y axis. So you can get this kind of design which is looking really well. Then go to the edit mode, select this face loop and shift D to duplicate it and press P to make a separate object and extrude it along the normal like this. Then select the bottom edge loop of the first object and press F to fill the gap. Then use the insert operation and then delete these faces and then select this edge loop and face grid fill. Then isolate it and select this edge loop and control B add a bevel on it. Add two segment bevel and shape factor should be one. Now you can see we are getting this kind of design. Select that outer ring, apply the scale on it and then select this bottom words and S, Z and 0. Scale them along the Z axis and make them flat. Same with the top words. And then select these edge loops and Ctrl B, add bevel on them. Add two segment bevel and then add loop cuts like this and then dissolve these edge loops in this way. Now you can see we are getting this kind of decent looking ring. And here you can see the design, you can see the topology. If I turn on the cavity, you can see the details. So in this way, you can create this kind of design. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video, take care.